The pictures make up the rest of the cosmic collection unveiled by the US President Joe Biden yesterday. Humans now have a detailed glimpse of a cloud of gas surrounding a dying star, a cluster of galaxies 290 million light years away, and a young star forming in a Carina nebula. The James Webb Telescope has allowed NASA to see deeper into the cosmos than ever before, thanks to its sheer power and infrared light technology. Joining me live now is astrophysicist and Sky News Game Agenda favourite, Brad Tucker. Brad, great to see you. On a scale of 1 to 10, yep. how excited are you about these particular photos? Like, I mean, is a thousand acceptable on that totally. scale? I'm not very good on the whole getting the range right here because, and this is the important thing, we've been, we've been waiting. I mean, the, the telescope was launched itself in Christmas and there's been six months getting this telescope ready, but this project has taken over two decades. And so it's amazing to see. And, and even though we knew it was going to be bigger and clearer, uh, we were going to see fainter and further light. You know, to see it with your own eyes is really amazing. That's the power of it is seeing, you know, they mm. say seeing is believing uh, and seeing just what it's brought in. Because especially, as you said, you know, with these images that have been released, um, not only are we seeing them in infrared light. So this is light that Hubble, the Hubble Space Telescope, couldn't see. But because the Hubble Space Telescope has already seen these areas and viewed them, we can kind of directly compare how powerful it is. And it just, uh, it is really breathtaking. So what's it like?